Hi, sixth graders. It's Miss Wallace, and this is our second week of taking notes um, from a video. And so, if you've got a piece of paper, um, just grab it, and we will write down um, the first part of the notes for this week. Uh, so, this week we are finished with talking about circles. We're going to start talking about a different shape. Um, today, we're actually going to be talking about the perimeter of rectangles. And so if you think about um, the shape of a rectangle, and you can have a rectangle that looks like this, or you might have a rectangle that looks like this, or maybe even something that's kind of short and skinny, a rectangle that looks like this. So when we're talking about perimeter, we're talking about the distance around the edge, similar to how circumference is the distance around a circle. Perimeter refers to um, the outside edge or the distance around a rectangle. So we're going to write that definition down. Perimeter is the distance around a rectangle. And so we're going to look at some examples of what it's going to look like to calculate the perimeter of a rectangle. So example number one. Um, let's say we're given a rectangle and we are told that the that this side um, is a measurement of five inches and this side is a measurement of three inches. And so if I want to find the distance around this uh, rectangle then we need to calculate the total distance, um, not just these two sides that we're given, but we want to include these two sides of measurements we're not given. Well, if you think about a rectangle, what a rectangle looks like, if we know that this side is equal to five inches, what do we know about this side? Well, rectangles have opposite sides that are equal, and so if this is five inches, this is also five inches. And the same thing goes for this side. If we know that this side is three inches, we also know that this side is three inches. So I'm going to fill in those missing um, amounts and to find the perimeter, uh, which we're going to call P, perimeter is just going to be all of these added together because we want to know what is five plus three more plus five plus three that's going to give us the total distance around. So five plus three plus five plus three and you can use your calculator for that. You might think uh, five plus three is eight and so if I do eight and plus eight more, that's going to be 16. Um, but you can type this in your calculator. So five plus three plus five plus three, hit equals, and it should give you 16. Now, we're given that our unit here was inches, and so I'm going to make sure that I put inches on the end. So perimeter is equal to 16 inches. And that's really all that there is to perimeter. Um, is just finding the outside edge. Now you might be thinking to yourself, uh, I could have done this a little bit quicker instead of adding up four different numbers. Um, so let's look at a formula that we can use to maybe make this work just a little bit quicker. Um, so for example number two, we're going to look at uh, a rectangle that is, uh, we're given that this measurement is seven feet and this measurement is four feet. And so another way of doing this just very quickly is to recognize that, okay, I know that if this is 7, this is 7. Um, and so that's actually going to be 2 times 7. I mean, I could do 7, I could say 7 plus 7 is 14, but I could also say 2 times this measurement is going to give me 14. Um, and so one way of writing that would be 2 times um, 7. And that's going to give me this distance, and it's also going to give me this distance. And then I can do the same thing with this side. So I could say, well, this is 4 and this is 4. Well, that's 4 plus 4, which is 8. Or I could say 2 times 4, which is 8. And so what I'm going to do is if, if I have two of these and I have two of these, then I'm going to add those together because I'm going to have 7 and 7, which is 14. We already said this part is 14. And then we're going to add that to these sides, which is 4 and 4, which is 2 times 4, which is 8. And so that's just a quicker way of getting it done, maybe. Um, if we add then 14 plus 8, we see that the answer is 22. 
And so my answer to this one is 22 feet. Make sure you put your unit there. Uh, and so we find from this step right here that there's actually a formula we can use um, that will work every single time for perimeter, uh, which is two times what we would maybe call the length of the rectangle, and then plus two times maybe what we would call the width of a rectangle. And so one way, a, a formula that just makes maybe this a little easier is perimeter is equal to two times the length, and I'm going to use a curly L because if I use a um, if I use a curly L, that stands for length. If I use a lowercase L that looks like this, that kind of looks like a one. So I'm going to make my L curly plus two times the width. And so this is our perimeter formula that you would find maybe in a on a formula sheet or um, just a quick way of finding our perimeter if you know what your length and your width is. Now I could have very easily called this my length and this my width and so we'll look at that in another example. But if you memorize this formula it's just a quick way of finding your perimeter. Could you have added up all the sides? Absolutely. You could still do 7 plus 7 plus 4 plus 4 or even 7 plus 4 plus 7 plus 4. You just want to make sure you go all the way around when you sort of check yourself um, instead of just doing 7 plus 4. So I could have, I can check myself by doing 7 plus 4 plus 7 plus 4, and it does give me 22 feet. All right, let's look at uh, example number 3 and how to use this quick way of doing this formula. Um, so for example number 3, let's say we are given a rectangle that looks something like this. And let's say this side is 10 centimeters, and this side we're given is 9.5 centimeters and we are asked to find the perimeter. And so one way I can do that is writing down this formula. So P is equal to two times L plus two times W, that's two times the length plus two times the width. Perimeter is equal to two times, we have to decide which one of these are we gonna call the length and which one's gonna be the width. Now, it really doesn't matter. You could call either one either. So I'm actually gonna call 9.5 the length of this time. So I'm just gonna write an L next to it and I'll call 10 the width. Again, you could have switched those and it will come out to be the same thing. So two times my L, which in this case is 9.5, plus two times my width, which is 10. And so I'm gonna calculate these two multiplication problems first. From here, it's almost like order of operations. Um, so two times 9.5, two times 9.5 equals 19, plus two times 10 gives me 20. And then I'm just going to add those together. So 19 plus 20 gives me 39. My unit was centimeters. And so that's my final answer. And again, as always, you can check yourself if you want to by doing 10 plus 9.5 plus 10 plus 9.5, sort of imagining that um, you're just going all the way around. And so if we check ourselves, 10 plus 9.5 plus 10 plus 9.5, we do end up getting 39. Same answer. Um, so either one of these ways will work. Uh, the last thing we're going to do, if you want to go ahead and flip your page over, is a word problem. There will be a couple of word problems on your practice, so we're going to call this example number four. Let's say that Jason is building, sorry about that weird O right there. Jason is building a pen for his dog. He wants the pen to have a length of 15 feet and a width of 19 feet. How much fence? will he need to surround his dog pen? And so since we're talking about surrounding the dog pen, we're talking about the outside edge, so we're talking about perimeter. So I'm going to draw a picture of maybe what this dog pen might look like. Um, dog pens are normally 
in a rectangular shape. And so I'm just going to draw a rectangle. And it says he wants the pen to have a length of 15 feet. Now again, it doesn't really matter where I put that. In this case, 15 is shorter than 19. So I'm going to put 15 on the short side. So 15 feet. That means we also know that this side's 15 feet. And it says a width of 19 feet. So again, I'm going to draw the picture first. Make sure you draw a picture when you have a word problem. And then you're going to fill in the information that you um, get from the problem onto your picture. So the, the length is 15 feet. We're going to label that as an L. The width is 19 feet. We're going to label that with W. And we want to know how much will it take to surround this whole thing. So again, you could add up 19 and 15 and then add this 19 and add this 15. Or you can use your formula. Perimeter is equal to 2L plus 2 times W. So perimeter is equal to 2 times my L is 15 plus 2 times my W is 19. Perimeter is equal to, I'm going to do those two multiplication problems. And so 2 times 15 is 30. If you don't know, then you can type that in your calculator. 2 times 15 equals 30. And so I'll put 30 there. Plus 2 times 19. Type that in your calculator. 2 times 19 is 38. And we add those two numbers together. So then I'm going to do 30 plus 38, which should be 68. Perimeter is equal to 68. And my unit was feet. And so my final answer is going to be, it's going to take 68 feet of fence to go around this dog pen. And you can always check yourself by doing 19 plus 15 plus 19 plus 15 the distance around. Um, perimeter can be used for finding the distance of fence or sometimes even uh, like if you have a picture frame, you're thinking about the wood around the outside edge of a picture frame. Anytime you're finding the amount of material you're going to need to go around something, that's what we're talking about perimeter. And uh, so that is the formula and how to find perimeter.